How are you? How is going? Florian. Weekend was too short as always. Too short. <laughs> Very good. You are, you are still in, in Stuttgart? Yes, I'm still in Stuttgart right now. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, very good. Mm, yep, people entering. Okay. Uh, good morning, Alexander. Thank you for your camera. Morning. Extra point, extra point for you. <laughs> very nice. Liva, Adriana, Natalia, Laura. Uh, I think in this case, it's also more important to have to have the camera, not only for me, because for you that are from different um, um, degrees, probably you, you don't know each other, no? Uh, do you meet each other um, anytime or not? For you, Florian, will be complicated if you are in Stuttgart, no? Will be complicated, but for you it will be also interesting. If you someday you meet in the street in Huelva or whatever, you can recognize. Oh my, my uh, room, my classroom mate. So for this reason, it's also important to uh, to have the camera. Hello, good morning, Liva. Okay, um, perfect. Elsa, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, last day we did this exercise with uh, Appen, my Appen. Um, at the end we we, we was talking about that. Um, you you said you need to do to do more exercises. No, let's go today. I'm going to share my screen. Um, today we will start to do more exercises with a list. Let's go to start to sort li one list. Um, lists that are uh, probably the more useful um, structure for to manage information in, in computers. So are very useful to know how to put things inside a list and order this inform yeah, that, that information that are, are inside. So let's go to start with this um, sorting algorithm. Probably for you, for many of you are the first time you try to, to sort elements in a list with a computer. So let's go to do from very simple idea. I'm gonna to explain to you how we can sort these elements. Um, um, uh, let's go to see an algorithm that is, is called bubble sort. Let's go to see what is the idea of this algorithm to sort elements in a list. The idea is we have a uh, list of elements uh, to begin with, or not sorted. Let's go to, to start from, from less uh, or um, for example, like four, um, ten, uh, two, or whatever. So the idea is try to find any pair of elements in this list that are not in a in a good uh, order. And let's go to try to put in a good way. For example, here. This first pair of elements, one and five, that one is less than five. So this pair is in a good order. 
So we don't have to do nothing here, this first part. But next one, next pair is five and three. Um, these pair are not in a good order. We have to change the order. And we are going to do this, uh, rep rep replace these pairs that are not in a good order until the list is um, ordered. So the idea is, let's, let's go to take any pair of consecutive elements in a list and let's go to check if the order is correct or, or not. If the order is not correct, we are going to modify. It's not a good order, let's go to, to change, uh, to replace or turn this pair to put in a good order. And let's go to repeat this idea until the, the list is full sort. So, and how we're going to apply induction because the only way we can resolve this exercise is try to use induction, mathematic induction. Mathematic induction. How let's go to apply induction to this idea. What is the most simple case? If we have a list, um, what do you think will be the most simple thing? Um, the case, first case. Is the, the property is true for in, in, N zero, but in this case, um, we are going to start to extending the idea of induction, not only with numbers, and let's go to apply this idea of induction in a more general way, like, okay, let's go to think not only in the first element at the N0, it's more like think about what is the most, most simple case in, my, in this problem. And for problem greater than the, the first one, if the property is true for the N minus one, then it will be true for N. So, what do you think will be the most simple case when you try to sort a list? Maybe if you just have one element in the list? Um, yes, well, that will be an option. But in this case, it's not, uh, we are not to, to build the induction with the, the side of the list. This more idea is, it is, or is sort or not. So the most simple case is not in this, in this example, on this SSI, is not related to the size of the list, it's more related to the state, if the list is sort or not. So in this case, the most simple case is if the list is already sort, I have to do nothing, no? This will be the most simple case. I have a list and the list is already sort. So um, this is, will be our case base case to build the induction. Let's go to, to say, okay, if the list is already sort, it's finished. So only we last like bubble sort will be the name of the predicate. Uh, have two elements. The first one is the list, original list, and the second one will be the the result, the, the result, the, and when that is true, it is true if it is true if uh, result unify with a list um, with same elements. List, but 
sorted from sorted from um, less to the minor and mayor less to high. No, no sé, don't know how to say that. Okay, the minor and mayor from less to high or so the idea is I have a list, initial list in any possible order. And when that is true, result have the same elements that the original list, but in a sort way, sort. So the most simple case, bubble, sort at least uh, will be if let's go to call the sorted uh, sort list what happened if the list is already sort what will be the result The rest of this list? Yeah, exactly the same. If the list is already sort, the input and the output will be exactly the same. This is the most simple case. This is the stop case. When, when the list is already sort, we finish our, our job here. So the idea is when the, the, the list is as any pair of uh, consecutive uh, elements in the list are in a good way, in a good so uh, sort um, way, we finish this job. And in other case, now let's go to try to find any pair of consecutive elements in Prolog. That is uh, simple in Prolog using unification and the predicate we just created last day is append. Append is very useful. Let's go to see some example here in this window. Let's go to see some example of the powerful of this. Uh, I'm sorry, one second. Let's go to start again a window prologue. Okay. Let's go to see some examples of the, this powerful of this predicate append. Appen is the we did the last day. It's a predicate to to have first a first list and uh, have first list and a second list, and uh, we obtain a new list with the elements of the first list followed with by by the second list. So, for example, one two three four five one two three four the first list the second list for like six and the result but I'll say okay the result is a new list with the elements of the first one followed by the elements of the second one it's a new but this predicate have many different ways to work in prolog it's very very different and in other primary languages for example append um, I can say, for example, L1, L2, and give one, two, three, four, five, six. I can use this predicate in a reverse way. Like I give the output and Prolog will find the different combination of inputs to make that true. For example, the first one, first solution will be, okay. The first solution will be if the first list is an uh, empty list and the second list is everything. Second option, when remember that when I write this symbol is dot comma, uh, I telling, I'm telling to Prolog, give me or assist more results and probably will say, okay, yes, there are another one. Is this one is the when the first list is contain only the number one and the second list is two, three, four, five, six. 
and there are more options. This one, pa 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 pa. pa. There are all the different possible combination to get uh, L1, L2 followed by uh, to obtain this list as one, two, three, four, five, six. But we can, for example, if I can get, I want to get uh, every consecutive element in a list using Appen, we'll do something like that. Appen, uh, for example, L1, wherever at the beginning, element one, element two, and another list, this operator is like the, the tail, one, two elements and whatever thing, L2 will be any size. And now I write here, something like that. It's like, okay, I want prologue, give me any combination of, in this way, like I want, at least at the beginning, L1. After that, a new list with element one and element two. And after that, whatever. And the result of this structure will be the list one, two, three, four, five, six. And probably say, okay, if you want that, I can give you these solutions. First solution is L1 is empty list, and element one is one, element two is two, and L2 will be the rest. And I can get more solutions writing uh, dot and comma. The second option is two and three, three and four, four and five, and the last one, five and six. So in this way, I can get any pair of consecutive elements of a list. So that will be, that is exactly what we need to resolve this exercise of sort. Because if I say, okay, bubble sort, I have initially a list in any order and leave the result to the end because the result depends what I go, I have to put here depend of we write here okay and let's go to pair to find to find any pair of consecutive elements in this so let's go to use appen as we just did here in this example appen one list da 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 element one, element two, and whatever. So one list, element one, element two, and sorry, and another list. And this, all that, that structure will be exactly the initial list I want to sort. And now, Let's go to check if the element two is greater than element one. What means that? What means if element two, um, sorry. What happened if uh, element two is less than element one? What do you think we have to do? Change the positions? Yeah, yeah. These two elements are not in a good uh, order. So I have to change this order. So it's uh, how I can uh, change that. It's possible to, to, to change using an other append. 
where we use the same like we did it before. We write L1 and then in the yeah. Uh, we we just switch E2 and E1. Exactly. And if instead I... of list at the end we put the result. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is put L1, whatever. And let's go to this pair that is not in a good order. Let's go to rep change. Let's go to change that. So uh, first we have to put E2 and E1 and whatever, L2. And in a new list, because this is a, this is a new list. Let's go to call, for example, uh, blah, 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 R, whatever, like the result of this. And what happened with this list R in sense of induction? Because we are trying to, to build the induction here, trying to, in each step, is uh, go one step near to the finish. What is the finish in this idea of bubble sort? What is the last step? What is our last step here? Natalia, Adriana, Adriana, Natalia, and Laura. I miss your cameras. You don't, you don't want the extra point. Oh, much better. Much better like this for all of you. Okay. So, um, what is the last step? When we finish? Liva, tell me, tell me, what do you think is the last step here? Thank you, Natalia, Laura, thank you. What, what, what do you think is the last step here to, to if we try to order in the, with this idea of bubble sort? What do you think is the last one? <laughs> I really don't know. Okay. Um, um, the idea of this uh, algorithm, they are, let's go to see another method to order the list. But the idea here is, okay, we have a most simple case that is when the list is already sort. This is our, our goal to get the list every single pair of consecutive elements in the list in a good order. This is the, the final, uh, our goal to get uh, obtain every single pair of consecutive elements in a good order. This is the last, the, this is the our goal in this exercise. So here, when this uh, line 24 and line, 20, line 24 to 26 in this code, we detect that there are one pair of elements that are not in a good order. No? Eva? If, if, we pay, if you pay attention about, about line 24, you will see there are a pair of elements that are not in a good order. What we did after that? Can you see, or, or it's, it's difficult for you? It's very important because I, if you don't understand, I can try to do another example because it's a very simple idea, but it's important you you, you understand that. So can, can you see line 24? We detect there are a consecutive pair of elements in not a good order or not? Or it's difficult for you to see? Uh, I think I see. You see, no, is this happen? Take at least at the beginning two elements and another list. So these two elements are not in a good order because element two is less 
than element one. So we detected there are a pair that is not a good in a good order. So next line 26, what we did is let's go to put this pair in a good way. We change the order to push, put element uh, two before element one. Okay, but you think that's finished or you, you think we have to do something more? Let's go to let's go to have some example. For, let's go I to have some. a question. So Sorry. is it also possible to let the list sort it by itself? Can you repeat, please? Is it possible that the list sort it by itself? The, the list. Um... So we have different numbers and then we put some function in that the list gets sorted automatically and we don't have <laughs> the Yeah, this automatic, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this concept of automatic sorted, because what means automatic? We are, the computer are going to do for us in automatic way. So for example, let's go to see some examples here. Uh, let's go to take the first list, uh, this, this one. Think about we started with this list. One, five, three, nine, four, ten, two. And we take the first part. First part is okay. It's a good order. And what what happened with this second pair? Five and five and three. What happened here? It's not in a good order. So what we're going to do? It's got to replace that and the result will be three and five and the rest of the list continue exactly the same it's like one three five nine four four ten and two so we change only one pair, but the list is not, uh, uh, the full list is not sorted. We only did one step that are make the, the new list are one step nearest to the solution. But this is not the solution. This list is, is not the solution, no? What do you think it's not it is a solution or not? It's not a solution. The list is one step nearest to the solution. So the induction here is in a this change. Uh, after that, let's go to right here. After that, R is one step nearest to the solution. So induction here is like the, the base case or the N, N0 case is when the list is sort, full, full sort. But uh, we are going to do one step and try to uh, make the second part of induction like here is like here we have the n minus one why is why we have n minus one because it's one step nearest to the solution and now what we are going to do let's go to us again, bubble sort. Bubble sort. To what? To this error that is one step nearest to the solution. So if that is true, what means what means that is true? What mean that if that is true, what happened with uh, R2? Adriana, 
<laughs> Tell me, what do you think about that? If that is true, what do you think we have in R2? Try to explain. This is the definition of this predicate. It's very simple. At the end, you, you have to realize that that is probably much simple than you will believe at the beginning because you say, okay, that's just programming computers, it's so complicated, but you don't only need to read that definition. What, what this definition say? That is true if the second variable unify with a list with the same elements in the first one, but so, so at, the, at the end you say that when that is true, the second variable have the, the initial list sort. No? Do you understand that or not? Tell me, tell me some, some. Uh, Yeah, this part I understood, but I'm not sure about the rest. Okay, you, you understand that when that is true, when bubble sort is true, what we did is I give one list and, and obtain the same list in a good order. So that, 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 that's all, it's only, only that. So when that is true, what we have here in R2 is the list R fully sort. Yes or no? So simple, it's very it's extremely simple. It's only, okay, no, what is the concept of this predicate? And say, okay, what happened when that is true? What happened when that is true is we have this uh, list sort. Um, and now, what is the relationship between this uh, error and what we need here? Because I, at the beginning, I, I get a list. I detect it in this list. There are one consecutive or pair of elements that are not in a good order. What we did is replace this, this pair, put in a good order, and us again to the new list. This is a new list that is one step nearest to the solution. R is one list that is one step because we detected there a pair that is not good to a solution. We replace that pair and we call again with this news. So we have here the list in a good order. What is the re relationship between that, what we have here and we have here? Who can tell me what is the relationship? We have to do something to obtain the solution for the original list or what do you think? Natalia was says, um, we have the one Natalia, no, Natalia. Uh, I think it's a result, so it's the same. Perfect, it's exactly the same. In this case, it's exactly the same because we don't remove nothing. We don't need to put nothing more. We take the list, we did a little change and obtain a new list. We don't need to put nothing, we don't need to add nothing here because it's exactly the same list because usually we build the induction uh, removing one element. And usually what we have to do is put something uh, to the solution of the n minus one. But in this case, uh, it's the same list. We don't remove nothing. We only change did one, one change that is that make that is one step near it to the solution. So I can say that that will work because if we repeat that, if we take a lead with that needs, for example, 10 changes of this pair, I know in 10 movements, I will get the solution. 
I did one. So next time I repeat that, I will be one step nearest. Next one will be, uh, will be only eight, only, only seven, and so on at, until get the finish, obtain the finish. Okay, let's go to check if that works. Let's go to see. Next exercise you have to do by yourself. This exercise I did a lot of, a lot of help. Um, okay, and now is a uh, bubble sort. Let's go to save this file to, as bubble sort. Um, can you write this exercise in your computer that you write by and try to check um, in your computers? We can give you give you some minutes to copy. I'm going to stop the recording one one some minutes and try to. Uh, uh, we need one thing more. What what we need to resolve that? We need another thing. We have to implement this sort this predicate. We don't have that. We have to create that. But this that is simple to let's go to create this sort list predicate. And that is last thing we, we need to finish this exercise. This predicate sort list um, receive only one one list and that is true it is true if is uh, if list if elements elements in these are uh, ordered from from uh, less to eight. Okay, it's order if this order from less to great. Then here, let's go to apply induction. Um, can you try to do this part of it uh, by yourself? You think, let's go to, please try to do this exercise. Well, I only give you what will be the most simple case. In this case, we are going to work with the size of the list. You think if sort list of the empty list, that is true? Or not. If we have an empty list, that is true. All elements in the list are in good order or not. <laughs> yes, if we don't if we don't have any elements, we can say okay, no problem. It's okay. It's okay. And now let's go to do something like that. Sort list. And now we need to take two elements, like element one and element two, and the tail of the list. And the rest will do by yourself. Let's go to think how you can use induction here to check if any list are in a good order or not. Okay, try to think about that. I'm gonna give you uh, five minutes, probably a little bit more. Uh, I will back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, stop recording now. 
And after five or a little more minutes, let's go to see what you think about that, how to resolve that. I only give this part. We have element one, element two, and the tail. And you have to use induction to check if the full list are in a good order or not. Okay, see you in five minutes. Any question before? Any question? Okay, think a little bit about that. See you in five minutes. Do you have the solution? You try? Laura? Yes, uh, I'm still trying, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> can you can you say your screen? Yes, sure. Let's go to see what is your approach. Okay, pretty good. Short list. <clears throat> <coughs> you need a dot at the end of, of the, okay, perfect. So list, uh, element one, element two, tail. Um, um, here, here we're going to, to apply induction. In this case, in this case, induction is, uh, we we have to check um, we have to check to we are we are here we are not trying to to resolve to sort we only really want to check if the list is sort or not here we are not going i'm not going to to do nothing only check if the list is short or not. So what, what we have to do, because you try here to sort list, uh, is something you, you try something to try, try to resolve with happen. But this predicate is more simple. It's only check if that is uh, short or not. So uh, please um, enter some uh, a space after after two point a uh, little bit high uh, there yeah after the two point and uh, it's underscore I after that enter some uh, a space there new lines sorry so ah, okay okay perfect L leave there uh, to see later and try to think just uh, right. What do you have to do if you want to check if the list is in a in short from lower to higher? What do you have to check here? Do you have to, to shoot on the microphone, Laura? I can hear you. We can hear you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, you have to check every pair of elements if the left one is smaller. Yeah, but in this case, more simple because uh, you have a first one and second one. If you want to check if the list is uh, short using induction, the first thing you have to check if element one so is, e yeah, element, element one, one less a perfect. Like this? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And let's go to put uh, not only less than, let's go to put less and equal because in the, uh, equal before the, you have okay. To, I, okay, perfect. That means, and in this case, we can have repeat elements in the list. Okay, if element one is less or equal than element two, the first part is okay. And let's go after that, 
you have to put comma there. And let's go to use induction and try to ask to the list with one element less. If we have applied induction, induction tell, tell us, okay, we have one to remove uh, one element usually and see what happened with the rest. So uh, try to ask to the list with one uh, without one element. What do you think? Perfect. Perfect. Um, so is it only remove only one? Remove but do one. I, what? Which one do I remove? Is it? <laughs> Think about that because you want to to have a sequence of elements in a good order. You check the first pair are in a good order. Okay, so like this. Yes, perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. And you have to uh, close close this. Uh, this uh, uh, remove the comma. Okay, and if that is true, think about that. If this the part you just write, you can select with your your. The okay, okay, perfect. If that is true. If that is true, that means that part of the list are in a good order. And the first pair are in a good order. You can see, you can say that the full list it is in a good order or not. What do you think? Yes, then if both parts are good, then the list is in a good order. Okay, that, that's finished. That's all we need. You only need a dot at the end and, and that's all. Okay, that's okay. So do I have to put the comma away no, or do I? You have, you uh, have to remove that because this predicate have only one argument, okay? Perfect, okay. that's all. So how we resolve that with, the, okay, let's go to apply the induction. If we have an empty list, it's okay. And let's go to ask to the N minus one, if that is true and the first pair is true, it's okay. I have the full list. Uh, the full list is okay. Everyone uh, see that or not? There's someone who have some question or or don't don't uh, any difficult to see that this is a way to check if a list is in good uh, order from lower to higher. Laura, um, can you? Uh, but you need only, can you save this file and check if that works? Yes, sure. Let's try to save in a new file that will be bubble short, for example, whatever. Okay. But you have to bubble short dot pl because uh, to prolog detect that is a, a prolog file. Uh, let me see one second. Okay. Ah, perfect. Now, perfect. Okay. And now you can open the, the prolog interpreter. Yes. And open this file. Can and you see um, also prolog or only my, my editor? No. You have to op launch a uh, prologue. Yes, I already opened it, but I'm, I think you can't see it. Wait. Ah, okay, bro. You, you have to change the the window. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. File consult. And this uh, bubble short. Perfect. Let's go. There are no errors. That, that's perfect. The first thing we have to check if there are some error. You have only lines in green. That means per this code is perfect. So now uh, let's go to check only the sort list predicate. And try to write here, uh, probably 
So lit is in capital letter like L or non capital letter? How did you write that? Oh, oh. I think I have some mistake in my um, code because one time I had sort list within capital, okay. so I'm changing it right now. Okay, so, so I tend to change and put uh, always in the same way. And after that, you can write make. Yes. Do I have to consult one more time when I uh, Or no, it's better if you remove that, delay that and write simply make you can delete everything there, yeah, and write make and dot. That's okay. This is a way, make, make is a way to, okay, so list. Um, try to put some examples to see what happened. Oh, okay, there's something wrong there. Yes. Can you put the code again? Let's go to check. Sure, yes. Let's go to check if uh, what happened. Sort list, uh, let me see. Uh, element two. Sort list, sort list, space, okay. Da, da, da. Mm. I can't see any error, so. Um, do one thing, go, go again to the window of the prologue. Uh, let's go to yes. write there a listing. Write listing. Um, like this? Listing, uh, parentheses. Uh, um, parentheses. Sorry, I, is, I forgot what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's parentheses. It's like uh, write parentheses there. It's only to check if the code is uh, fully fully. Yeah, correct. sorry, I I just forgot what the English word is. I don't know what I should do. What parenthesis is? Is the plumum. <laughs> what? Plumum. Ah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and inside, write short list. Okay, and a dot at the end. Okay, nice. So listen to the, ah okay okay I know now I I know what what is happening we need something more one line more okay Go back to the code because uh, we need any case one time we have one line the first line of sort list is for empty list and the second line that's so all this rule is for a list with two or more. We need mm -hmm. one case for at least with only one. This is the, what happened, and only and the score is, is would be perfect because. Uh, so that like will this? Be, no, yes, oh. do, that would be okay. But for product, it's better to write underscore. That's, that okay. Mean, that means there's something there, but we are not going to use it. Okay, perfect. Now, okay. now, now it is okay. Because otherwise, always will say make perfect, very good. You look like your program, your, your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Is the first time you did a program like this or not? Um, or you I did before? a few things, but not much. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Just a little bit. That's okay. That works. And now try to check another list. <coughs> it's not uh, in a good order to see what happened. Something more complicated. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, it was not really complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Something a little bit more complicated. <coughs> Perfect. That's all. It is a predicate to check if a list is a sort or not. The, uh, the, these predicates are not uh, doing nothing in the list, are not changing the list. Only check if the list is sort or not. Okay, that's perfect. <clears throat> Let's go to see the code again. Mm -hmm. 
And let's go to check if everything's okay uh, with the bubble sort algorithm. So bubble sort say, okay, the first part, this multiple case, if the list is sort, input and output are the same, okay? Mm -hmm. Everyone see that, that line? Anyone, uh, there's someone that had some question about, about this line or everyone see that is, uh, Okay, any question about that? It's the most simple case. The most simple case say, okay, if um, this is sort, input and output is, are the same and we finish. It's like the last or most simple case. Perfect. And the second part is, uh, let's go to detect if there are one pair that is not in a good order. And in this case, let's go to put, to change the order and call again to bubble sort with a new list. So that's all, so simple to, to try to solve. This uh, only two parts, detect one a pair of consecutive element check if these pair are not in a good order and modify. Okay, let's go to see if that works. Mm -hmm. Let's go to try to bubble sort any list to see what happened. Now you need oh. here, you need a second a variable. Mm -hmm. Uh, the list, whatever list, comma, and a new variable, for example, error or whatever result or whatever you want. Okay, nice. Okay, what happened here? Let me see the code. Let me see the code. See what happened. Probably if we if we forget some something there. And this is when is. Uh, When it's uh, bad, what happened if any, if this uh, first part is in a good order? Probably we, we have to do something more, no? What we have to do is to copy these two lines. You can copy these two lines. Let's go to, yeah because and paste there. And what happened if it is first one and second one are in a good order? We finished or not? We have to do something more. Yeah, maybe then the same as um, like bubble sort list R2 and the same here. Yeah. What happened if element one and element two are in a good order? So that means it. What happened is element change that, and where the other wash option is is less, yeah, and less or equal. Less. You have to change the this uh, operator. You put this uh, in, instead of put here the grade less. Okay. Equal, but E1, no, no, no. The order was was good before. Is E1, E1, element element one and E2. Okay. What happened if element one and element two are okay? We finished, or we have to do something more? Mm, then we uh, depend on how long our list is, but we are already one step closer than if they are in a right order yeah, yeah but we have to sort so then this would be changed we have, we have already we have to sort the the full list because or we have to sort because 
um, that the first and the second element in the list are in a good order don't mean doesn't mean that the full list is in good good order. So mm -hmm. we have to call again to bubble sort for the rest. Uh, probably you, you have to remove uh, after that we have to delay that because we don't need to to change nothing here. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Now in this case we don't need to to but we have to do bubble short of what? Of, of like uh, the list? Yeah, the full list again. So like this? Um, uh, yes. Yes, I think it's okay. That's only to check what happened if the first one and second one is okay? Because okay. In, in this case, we have to also, let's go to check now what happened. Oh. And what is the result? Uh, now we have some error now. Okay. Oh no, I think it was because I have capital letters in make. So no, it, okay. Also, yeah, but. Or not? No, no, we have a singleton variable. That means in line, in bubble short line number nine, we have to check the code again. Number nine. I think it's here, right? Yeah. Um, Yeah, because we are not doing nothing with L1 and L2. So in this case, you have to to put, okay. Oh, I don't like, uh, let me see one second. Let me see one second, this code, the solution, because <laughs> I don't remember exactly <laughs> the, the solution of, of this exercise. Um, probably, uh, I don't know. Ah, it's, it's the other thing, it's more simple. Okay, now. Uh, it's exactly the same. It's not, no, you, we, we don't need this line because that, that line is not doing nothing. You can delay that, okay. What happened is not, uh, we don't need this line. It's the same error that we have before. Um, second. My sort. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't know what happening. List one list. It's okay, this are two. You have exactly the same, exactly the same. We have here in the document. So let's go to check again. Try to check again, this bubble sort. Let me see there are some error, bubble sort. I can't see any error. So let's go to check again. Save this file again mm -hmm. and try to check again. So let's go to try to detect what is the error here. Make, okay. Try to do again bubble sort. Hmm. False. A right listing, right listing for bubble sort. Ah, uh, here you don't have the, the 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 second part. You you don't have here the sort. Okay, no, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, to one and write the listing of of uh, 
short, short list. Okay. I don't see what is the error. Um, Excuse me, Professor. See? Si? I don't know if I am right. Uh, I have the same code, just uh, uh, bubbles in bubble sort. I wrote E2 minor than E1, and uh, uh, it, it appears that, it, that, it's, that it's working. But I, I don't know why. You're changing the A? Yeah. So okay. Oh, 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 oh. okay, that's uh so you have here yeah E1. yeah because it's 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 yeah like this or no no e, e two minor than e one okay no no e so, two oh sorry <laughs> okay so we, we well we we have to check or we have to find is the, the pair isn't in bad order. Probably before we don't detect. Uh, yeah, try now. Yes. Probably the, mix, the mistake was there. Yes, thanks okay. good. Okay, yeah, the problem was, <laughs> the problem was if you go again to the code, there the, the was, the error was in the, in this uh, comparison here, because we, yes, did, for sure. yeah. we, we are not detecting the, the we, probably we are replacing the pairs that are good because we did, did bad this uh, comparison of values, okay? That was the place where we have the error. Okay. Okay. Do you understand any question with this exercise? You have any question? Laura, did you say of you, you program before or not? Um, like just a little bit. I did some basics in Python and um, I work with. Um, business analytics software. So just a little bit, but not really but, much. <laughs> okay, okay. But you never did an algorithm of, uh, you never did a um, short algorithm like this, no? To take um, not programming. I think I have like the basics. I had one class in algorithm, but mm -hmm. we never like programmed one. We just like did it. Um, okay. Theoretically. Okay, nice, perfect. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, nice. Any question about this exercise or not? No question? Okay, let's go to do a new one. Uh, let's go to make a break. Left only. You want to make a little break, five minutes? Yes or not? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, five minutes breaks, and let's go to do, try to uh, start with the uh, next exercise. Five minutes break. See you in five minutes. See you.
in case you're talking to us, you should unmute your microphone. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Thank you, thank you for your cameras. Thank you. Um, now let's go to see another algorithm. It's a uh, sort by, by insect insertion. Let's go to, I'm gonna share my screen. And let's go, I'm going to explain you what is idea. Uh, idea now of this algorithm is, we're going to take uh, the induction. Let's go to take, uh, let's go to separate between uh, head and tail in the list. So let's go to have uh, this list. We want to short. If we take the, the, the head and the tail, and we what we are going to do now is to sort the tail is pure induction here sort uh, uh, insert let me see one second the name give um, insert sort so by insert insert yeah. Uh, so to sort the, the tail, let's go to sort the tail. Uh, what the result will be the same list when that is true. If we call to the uh, n minus one here, we will obtain the, this list in the right order. Uh, be one three one two three one two three two three um eight nine eight nine this is the result I if think we, we have um two times two yeah yeah it's two times two okay perfect thank you so uh, if we take the tail and we obtain this result, what we need to finish is insert the head because we take here the, the head. Five, number five is the head. So we, what we have to do now is insert the head in this new list because the five, number five, would take the head and the tail. The head is five, we short the tail and only need to insert. After that, we need to insert the number five, five in uh, or the, the head, uh, the head. This example which is number five in a short list. So, here is pure induction as we did before. It's like take the first element and the tail. Let's go to sort the tail. If that is true, we would we will have the, the tail uh, sorted, but we have to insert the head in a, in a sort of list. It's in the tail, the result. result. Uh, result, oh, sorry, result of the tail. So we need a predicate to insert one element in a sort list that is more simple than um, uh, insert, try to, to sort um, this insertion we we have the precondition that the list we want to insert is is already in a sort. It's already sort. So let's go to 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 think about this idea. How to insert insert in a sort uh, insert one element in sort sort list. It's like uh, I have an element, 
the list and the result. Uh, this is the element we need, list, and that will be the rest. So it is true, it is true if result, result unify with a sorted and list with element insert it in the right position. So this is the idea of this predicate. We have one, we want to insert one element, but in this case, in a sort list. Um, we, we have only 50 minutes to finish. Can you try to resolve that by yourself, this predicate? insert one element in a sort list try to think in the most simple case and uh, how to use the induction to insert i'm going to share this this uh, if you want to have you can copy for your code and to share that in the, in the chat sorry Okay, so try uh, to think about how to resolve that. This predicate. How to insert one element in a sort list. Let's save here like uh, sort. Uh, by 13 pl think about in we have 15 minutes to finish the the, plan, the session today think about how to resolve that think about the most simple case what is the most simple option to insert one element it's very important to 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 realize that this the list where we want to insert are already sort. This is very important to resolve that because it, with this restriction is very easy or, or it's more easy to resolve. So we want to insert one element in a sort list. So um, think about that around five minutes, probably more. And after that, let's go to try to resolve. Okay. See you in five minutes. How are you? You have something? Can someone to, to share the screen to see? We have only five minutes to try to resolve that. Or if you prefer, we can leave this as a for, for the next day, if you want. 
Okay, we, we can continue next day in this point. I, I think will be better. Okay, so you have only five minutes. I will be better to, to finish here. And next day, uh, we will start with this exercise. Okay. I have one more question. Can we um, next time maybe get get the project so that we yeah. can work? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Sure, sure, sure. The, the, I have some ideas. Yeah, sure. I will try to talk today, but but we can talk next day. Okay. The type of exercise we will try to resolve because now we are with the list, and after that we are going to start with the the type of exercise we we we, we have to do in this project. Okay. We'll, Usually in the normal class, the Spanish student, after that we see some another data structure like trees. But we are going to directly, if we have fit um, this, exactly what we need to resolve the, the project. So next day we will, we will, we will start to, to do the type of exercises similar in the, uh, you have to resolve in the project, okay? Okay, thank you. Will we then also get our final project next week? Um, uh, yeah, I can give you the idea. What did you do? I have to think about that, okay? okay. I, I'm gonna give you the idea. Probably, uh, I don't know if, if we, I will give you exactly the, the instruction. To, to resolve, but I'm gonna give you the idea. This is the type of exercise you're going to resolve because we need more time to to do uh, some exercise because uh, what do you need one week more to to try to do this similar exercise, okay? Probably the next next week, not the next one, the other one, okay? Okay, and Good. when uh, has to be um, the project finished? At which date exactly? Usually the date date of uh, exam. And usually I give uh, one week more, it depend, on the depend of the date. Because if the date, I have to check what is the date of the exam on this subject. But if you have enough time, probably I can give you one week more after okay. the, the date of the of the exam, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, okay, perfect. Have a nice week and see you next day, okay? See you Thank next you, week. bye. Okay, bye, bye, see you.